Well, hello there, folks, and do welcome to another unboxing video from Myers Corner. We're gonna unbox some loot gaming boxes. Yay! So it is Friday and it is time for a loot gaming unboxing from me, Myers Corner. Hey, wait a minute, there's something wrong here. We are missing something. Oh yeah, we are missing me. Me, 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 me. Hey, come back here. Well, let's see what we got in these two uh, loot crates right here, right now live or whenever you click play on this video so let's take a look in the first box loot game we got the one with the t-shirt so let's start with the t-shirt of course of course we're gonna start with the t-shirt this t-shirt is gray you see gray i see gray i see more or less a gray t-shirt from what do you say? Metal Gear? What the hell is this? Hey, what is this? Anybody can recognize this? I know it's Metal Gear, but... Looks like a five-year-old drew this. What the hell is this? <laughs> Alright, it's a grey t-shirt. It's supposed to be Metal Gear. I don't know. Is this metal? Is the color metal? Is it metal color? I don't know, it's a fitting t-shirt, that's for sure, but um, I think it's hard to see that this has something to do with me. Yeah. I'm not sure. What do you think out there? Let me know in the comment section down below. What else is in the box? We got a little, what would you call this? A little, uh, what is it, is it a notebook thing? It says Pac-Man, and it's basically, basically it's a scoreboard uh, sheet where you can put all your scores in. Is it useful? I don't know. Doesn't my machine keep track on it? Maybe. I don't know. But let it put. Let us put it over there, so I can type down my high score. No, no, no. What else is in the box? We got a Doom Eternal Slayer Helmet Stress Ball. So it's a ball that gives me stress or is it a stress relief? Let's open it up! We got the Slayer's Helmet. Right? It's a stress ball, so... At the end of the day, your fingers will hurt. I remember I got a different stress ball in a previous crate. This is the... The... What would I say? Kakodim? I think that's what it is called. Uh, it's Greek for... Uh, Evil spirit, I think it is. A kaku demon, that's a, that's a previous uh, item um, in the loot crate. So now we have two stress balls, so now we can... <laughs> and... Uh, no? Okay. Let's go to the next item, which is a cute but deadly... Must be a little figurine. It's uh, from Overwatch, so let's see what's hiding in this uh, more or less blind bag thing version of a cute and deadly Series 3 Overwatch Edition. Let's 
see, we got a little, I assume this is a little stand for it. And, uh, oh, that looks pretty cool. Pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent. The figurine itself, I'm not much into the Overwatch, so I don't know what this one is called. Maybe it says on the back, on the pack. On the back, on the pack. It is Hanzo. Hanzo. All right. Let's take the the little stand. Stand. Let's make a stand right here. How the hell does that work? Little stand. stand. Oh, I see the holes now. Yeah. You get those feet inside the hole, dude. All right. Hanzo, you see Hanzo right here. Right here, Hanzo. Overwatch, cute but deadly. I think I have a couple of other cute but deadlies over here too. So it's gonna, it's gonna be in a, it's gonna be put to the collection of the other ones. What else do we got in the first box? We got the pin, which is apparently the last thing in the first box. A pin, loot gaming pin. This is apparently a chest of a skeleton with a heart, so symbolizing. Did you die in the game? I think. Didn't we last time get a skeleton head? So now we can basically almost assemble a little skeleton. Hey, that's. I don't know if that is the meaning of the whole thing, but. If it continues, if it continues like that, we have the arms, the legs, and then we got a complete skeleton. A skeleton of a uh, of a of a skeleton. Jesus Christ! Empty. Next one. Let's see what is inside as soon as we have taken a little break. Alrighty then, let's begin. We have this. It's a Castlevania. Looks uh, fluffy. It's in a bag. Let's take it out of the bag. And what do we find? Oh, it's uh, we got a we got a hat, and we got what appears to be. What the hell is this? Is this a? Uh, it's a scarf. It's a, it's a nice, nice thick actually, pretty thick. It's a, it's a pretty. Uh, I think it's comfortable uh, when it is. Uh, Cold. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's just put it right there, right? And uh, for the, the hat, oh, let's uh, just put it on like that. Right? Oh, castle. Castle. Right? There we go, folks. That's how we do that. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's hat on the floor. Alright. That's about the. Uh, Castlevania scarf from Luke Gaming. This is actually pretty, uh, pretty comfortable fabric. All right, what else? Let's take that for the last thing. What is this? What is this? For me, that looks like a tea bag. A tea bag. It's uh, made in a kind of rubberish. Rubber. This is wall tech. It says wall tech, right? Wall tech tea. Wall tech tea. So we don't know what flavor because apparently we put in the the the, the, the tea itself and then we, we dip this. If, if we can assemble it afterwards again, that is. And we're gonna dip this in the hot water and we got ourselves tea. 
more tech. Apparently, uh, the bad thing. The bad thing would not be uh, dipping. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Dark Souls. That seems promising. It's a mock. It's a Dark Souls mock. And uh, what would a Dark Soul mock look like? It's taunting me already just by looking down in the hole. What do you say? It said, he should die. Reminds me of, of when I played Dark Souls. Or whatever game, whenever I died. But this is a Dark Soul mug. It looks very dark. It does, however, have the flask over here on this side. And uh, I think the coolest thing about it that it has the you died when it's empty. That must be the coolest thing about this mug since it has so much just plain black and then of course the, the, the thing right there. Well, that's about it. We got one last item which is the pin and uh, this pin is a loot gaming pin it says NG plus for you gamers out there you know what NG plus stands for right? Am I right? You got the nice feeling of playing the game you have completed it, you have beaten it, and up on the screen comes the New Game Plus. And you are so excited to be able to play it on New Game Plus. NG Plus. New Game Plus. There we have it, folks. That was the last item in this Vicky's box. I hope you enjoyed. I am definitely nice and comfortable at the moment. So, I hope you are. Uh, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already done it, and, and activate the little bell so you will get notified next time there's a video from me. Much be saved for hanging out till the end, much be saved in dee 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 dee. I will see you next time, that is, folks, so take care out there, and ba 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 bye. This is Miles, being prepared for the winter. Bye-bye.